The astronautics team from National Chenggong University has successfully launched the first 100% Taiwanese two-stage hybrid rocket. The breakthrough launch took place in Shuhai Village on the east coast of Pingdong. NCKU researchers and the National Science and Technology Council are delighted with the test and say it paves the way for even grander projects in the future. The rocket launches successfully. This diagonal angle will enable it to withstand winds up to level 10 on the Beaufort scale. After the booster detaches from the rocket mid-air, the second stage rocket can continue on a journey of 20 kilometers. Despite a strong and fast wind at this dawn launch, the rocket took to the skies without a hitch. The front ray dome disappeared after the first stage of the rocket fell away, so it was probably on the second stage. I think that the detach and firing of the second stage was successful. The rocket measured 6.23 meters long, about as tall as a two-story building, and weighed 270 kilograms. It comes entirely from the Agency of Taiwanese Research Organizations and Related Industries. Everything from the design and development to the manufacturing was completed by Taiwan. The primary mission for this project was to complete a two-stage rocket launch and to test the technologies involved in firing the second stage mid-air. Another key focus was tracking the rocket's dynamic trajectory from start to finish. In the future, we will be able to continue to support the missions and tests of two types of exploratory rockets, both vertical and diagonal launches. This launch site opened early this year. The launch represents a major leap off the drawing board for NCKU's two-stage hybrid rocket and a proof of concept for the research. In 2009, the team was still working on launching a rocket of a mere 30 kilogram force. Today, they've launched a rocket with a kilogram force of 1,500. They can't wait to see what the future will bring.